The Young and the Restless Spoilers. A New Beginning in Paris. Kyle Abbott, his son Harrison, and Claire had recently settled into a charming new home in Paris, embracing their fresh start with joy and optimism. The City of Lights promised new adventures and a peaceful life, far removed from the turmoil they had left behind in Genoa City. The trio had quickly adapted to the Parisian lifestyle, spending their days exploring quaint streets, enjoying delicious pastries, and soaking in the rich culture. A day of joy turns into a nightmare. One sunny afternoon, Claire took Harrison out for a walk, deciding to treat him to some ice cream from a nearby cafe. As she stood in line, her eyes briefly off Harrison, an older man with silver hair approached the boy. In the blink of an eye, he gently took Harrison's hand and led him away. When Claire turned back, her heart stopped as she realized Harrison was gone. Panic set in, and she frantically searched the crowded street, her cries for Harrison echoing through the air. The Silver-Haired Stranger Back at their home, Kyle was on the phone with a friend when he received Claire's frantic call. He dropped everything and rushed to the cafe, his mind racing with fear and confusion. Upon his arrival, he found Claire in tears, barely able to explain what had happened. Desperate and overwhelmed, Kyle held Claire, trying to comfort her while his own heart pounded with dread. Meanwhile, a surveillance camera nearby captured footage of the incident. The grainy video revealed a man with silver hair taking Harrison by the hand and walking away. Kyle's mind raced as he tried to recall anyone fitting that description. In Paris, only one person came to mind, Alan. The sinister Alan. Alan was a silver-haired man known for his shady past and dubious activities. He and his twin brother, Martin, had a reputation for deception and manipulation. Their complex history included numerous scams and cons, often leaving chaos in their wake. Danny and Christine had previously warned Tracy about trusting Alan, but their warnings seemed to have gone unheeded. Alan and Martin were infamous in certain circles for their love of trickery and deceit. Their motivations were often unclear, but their actions were always calculated. The thought of Alan having Harrison sent chills down Kyle's spine. Why would Alan take his son? What could he possibly want with Harrison? The kidnapping. Kyle's mind flashed back to another harrowing experience. This was not the first time Harrison had been kidnapped. Previously, Jordan had taken Harrison, causing immense distress to Kyle and his family. The scars from that incident had barely healed, and now they were being ripped open again. Determined to find his son, Kyle immediately contacted Jack and the rest of the Abbott family, pleading for their help. Jack assured Kyle that they would do everything in their power to find Harrison, but they needed time to gather information and formulate a plan. The Abbots mobilize. The Abbott family, known for their resilience and resourcefulness, sprang into action. Jack called in favors, reaching out to contacts in Paris and beyond. Ashley and Billy began scouring social media and news outlets for any sign of Harrison. Tracy, heartbroken and worried, provided emotional support to Claire, who was struggling with guilt and fear. Danny and Christine, though physically distant, offered their support and guidance through frequent calls. They emphasized the importance of staying strong and not losing hope. Danny, in particular, was determined to use his connections to track down Alan and Martin, leveraging every resource at his disposal. The search intensifies. As hours turned into days, the search for Harrison intensified. Kyle's desperation grew, but he refused to give up hope. He walked the streets of Paris, showing Harrison's picture to anyone who would listen. The city, with its bustling life and vibrant energy, now seemed like a labyrinth of uncertainty and fear. A breakthrough. Just when the situation seemed dire, a breakthrough occurred. A tip came in from a local shopkeeper who recognized Alan from the surveillance footage. Alan had been seen in a rundown part of the city, frequently visiting an old warehouse. The lead was thin, but it was the best they had. Confrontation at the warehouse. Kyle, accompanied by a few trusted friends and local authorities, rushed to the location. As they approached the warehouse, a sense of foreboding hung in the air. The building was dilapidated, its windows boarded up, and the door creaked ominously as they pushed it open. Inside, they found Alan, but no sign of Harrison. Alan, always one to play mind games, smirked as they confronted him. Looking for someone, he taunted, his eyes gleaming with malice. Kyle's patience snapped, and he demanded to know where Harrison was. 